Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Nev's Tech Bits, and today I want to talk a little bit about Mini PC versus the Android box. The two colliding head-to-head, -head, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a little bit more than just your standard uh, smart television, you might consider picking one or the other up. Now, it definitely should be said the Android box will always come in cheaper. The price will always be cheaper because the operating system is so much cheaper. Everything is on board. They mass produce these things, and that's just the way she goes. Mass produced in China, but the unfortunate thing is you probably won't get support unless you know your local dude and he offers support, or you'll odds are you'll be paying like 50 75 bucks for something and then when things are no longer updated you'll have to move to another one like being uh, like upgrading almost this is kind of the situation where let's say back in the day you get sent a cable box and instead of sending you a new card or anything like that they'll send you a new cable box every two or three years this unit is newer or is older than this unit but it's twice as powerful four core eight core not supported anymore not support i think it's android 7 which is relatively well supported this one gets android 10 which is almost the newest one right now but the thing is that after a certain point in time if you don't know what you're doing you know what either one of these aren't going to be working for you if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to setting these things up you need support you need someone to come by and support you uh by updating the, the apps or eventually the apps just won't work anymore that's not so much the the issue when it comes to windows based machines windows based machines use netflix and you know disney plus whatevs without an app they just go over the web they work or they don't unfortunately that's not necessarily the same thing with an android box because an android box has to be updated like a macintosh the android box uh, has to be upgraded to a high enough operating system before it will install all of your programs and whatnot and unfortunately yeah the support in these old ones just isn't there but if you get windows if you get official windows microsoft will definitely support your stuff now another thing you could do if you wanted to go super cheap is you could get a used mini system and that's what i did here with the intel compute stick i got this unit it only's got two gigabytes worth of ram but i got that unit off ebay for 80 bucks for probably what like 60 american these days something like that and it runs okay if you just want video from this stuff if you just want 1080 video any of these things are going to work out for you fine now if you want 4k hey they'll tell you all day long that all of these things will give you 4k and uh you know some do some don't um but if you're going for android box if if you didn't pay about 60 bucks american then i highly doubt that you're actually going to be getting 4k it's just a thing they throw out there a lot of people don't even know if they can see 4k i mean you have to have good enough eyesight at a certain point right another thing i should definitely mention is what is your patience like and what kind of operating system do you know now there's something that uh i know is android rage all androids will tick you off at one point or another all androids will make you want to throw them across the room lately apples have been doing the same thing but anyways i digress with android it really feels like whatever goes wrong is the fault of it but when we think about windows based things we're used to things not working in windows and a lot of us are used to blaming ourselves for just not understanding how it works but again you will get the windows rage but it's all about what operating system you know and do you have time to learn it man back in the day when i was a kid i would have loved to uh, have had time to learn new technology all the time but now that i'm older i just don't seem to have the time so if you're getting one of these systems for a loved one i would definitely recommend thinking about how well they know each operating system and what they use it for now let's talk about video playback once again and i'm just going to tell you straight up on the memory these things just work really nicely they'll give you any basic youtube playback or any and anything you could have on uh on a sim card but if you want to play 4k i definitely recommend you look into something like this uh, or usb 3.1 now this this is an sd card so it has nothing to do with usb but you'll see under the 128 gigabyte it has a u3 you need at least u1 or a 10 in a circle before you can really watch uh, 1080 things flawlessly i got this old school intel compute stick it came with an off-label 128 gigabyte uh, card and it just, just played great it just played fantastic two gigabyte uh, ram in here playing from uh, 
play, playing from a no name 10u looking just great so you don't need a lot so i definitely recommend if you're going to be using memory you might want to be using usb 3.0 3.1 or uh, a u1 at least a u3 i would definitely recommend the most for video now for all you non-techno nancies, here's a little bit of a cheat sheet. If you want faster video, if you're saving to SD card or USB, this is basically the speed you get. This is the speed that I'm saying 1080p will generally play in anything. Now before you worry about 2.0, 3.0, you got to make sure that your units will actually take it. And in Android boxes, they're not always marked, but... Uh... But generally in the Microsoft ones, the USB 3.0 will be blue. Anyways, you have to have a USB 3.0 drive. And with micro SD cards, you definitely get different versions. The standard standard good ones you get are 10s in a circle, 1 in a U, that's 10 megabytes a second. And um, the ones that have a 2 in a U mean 20 megabytes a second. U3 means 30 megabytes a second. Generally, it isn't all the time. And if you ever see an A slash 2 or A slash 1, that means your Android applications will work better on one or the other. Sometimes you can save applications on Android to the SD card. A lot of, a lot of uh, Android builds don't like that because the thing is if you have a bad uh, memory card it's going to corrupt the system. Now enough about video. Basically all of these things can handle 1080p video and as long as you can teach your mom how to use that you're going to be able to play video files no problem. You want to be able to use Netflix then you're probably going to have a better chance in the long run on a mini PC. But next up let's talk about the video games. So the unit with the best price point is absolutely the Android box which we can see here. It looks good. It just looks good. I would actually recommend the Android box when it comes to gaming, because retro gaming, which is about the only kind of gaming you'll be doing uh, on any of these systems, just because the price point doesn't get you away with a lot of power. The retro gaming is awesome. I can use my Xbox 360 with it. I can download it from uh, the Play Store, if you have the Play Store. I suppose one unscrupulous type of individual could also uh, pirate it. It'd actually be a lot easier to pirate it on an Android box, but the the fact that the installation is so straightforward is what makes this better for gaming, in my humble opinion. Then again, I can't exactly say I've ever gotten Grand Theft Auto 5 to work on uh, cheap Android. It legit took about 5 minutes for this thing to load on this old seller on Beast, but still, I got it to load. You know what, I just realized I have Doom on Steam, so I gotta say, both runs about the same. But I don't need to uh, install Steam to get uh, Doom working on the Android box. Also, Team Fortress 2. How come this isn't on uh, Android yet? This seriously needs a port. So mostly it all comes down to your price point. What are you willing to drop? How much support you got for this stuff? How much do you know? Uh, how much do you know this unit if you're going to need to upgrade later? And what's right for you? For some people, the Android box is going to be perfect with a low price point. All you want to do is use a few apps for a few years, or maybe you want to get the Windows system because let's face it, no smart TV comes with Windows, and you can do a lot with Windows if you know your stuff. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nevs Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Have a good one.